Hi, Mike Zeman with Pacific Foundation. We're at Sand Island in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii, uh, on the island of Oahu. Hawaii, uh, the water table is very shallow. We're sitting at about elevation five or six right now, so it's about two feet below where we're standing. is is completely saturated. Like everywhere else, they still have to install utilities through that. They have to create below grade structures through that, and so traditionally they've used jet grout uh, to stabilize those trench and cut off the water flow. But it creates very small diameter holes. Um, it's expensive and slow, and so to do a trench, you're putting in hundreds or thousands of holes where when we're cement mixing, we're using large diameter tools where we're taking a lot fewer passes uh, to create the same work. So we did about 800 feet of trench here and it took about a, you know, a couple of weeks to get it done. Um, it's open over there right now and it's a 12 foot cut, 90 feet below the water table and it is bone dry, you know, perfectly vertical sidewalls. It's basically taking terrible ground in Honolulu and turning it into fantastic ground from Arizona. The problem with Sand Island was ground conditions were very different. I mean, first of all, it's a much deeper excavation, much larger, um, with big vertical side walls. But the real issue at Sand Island was there was a coral layer at nine feet that was very hard. And then a sandstone layer at 20, 21 to 25 feet that was extremely hard. So we had to really incorporate you know, that into the design and how do we accomplish something similar without really what people would consider to be a traditional, you know, mixing soil. So that's where there was a lot of engineering and a lot of creativity to come up with something very unique to that job, but it worked extremely well. We have a great crew here. They're really dedicated, not just to this kind of work, but to this market. They take it really seriously. Um, they want to do a great job for our clients. Al Champ is running the job for us again. He ran Kings Village for us. Um, very thorough, very safe, a real attention to detail, um, a good commanding presence of the men out there working. I'm Al Champ. I'm the superintendent on the wastewater treatment plant project. Today we're doing the soil mixing. We have both rigs going, cement soil mixing, going down 29 feet. Typically on a concrete project, the concrete truck would back up, pull the concrete out of the truck, put it in cylinders, and they test it. This is how we test it. We mount, uh, mount a sample box to the side of our drill paddle, and then we plunge that drill paddle into the area we've just uh, mixed, and we can take it to different levels depending on what zone we want to test. Here, we're really concentrating on getting a bottom seal so we take it clear down to the bottom. On the test program we did on the tower cranes, we uh, tested in zones, and certain jobs we'll test certain zones, and then we'll put that in a sample, and then we get our breaks from that. Uh, I'm Jacob Zeman, I'm the field engineer out at Sand Island Wastewater Treatment Plant. This get here, I do my best to get all the maps done, all the tracking sheets done, just so that they're prepared for the day, so I could try to spend the most time as I can outside. I have a better QC when I'm outside and not in the office. Between QC and the driller, you're a team. Maps are everything, tracking's everything, making sure all the holes are done. You know, you come in kind of expecting it to be very similar. When we did our test program, we realized that Soil conditions are very different from over in Waikiki, even though they're so close. We'll be finishing uh, soil mixing for the next two and a half, three weeks, then we'll move into sea cans and then finish out with uplift anchors. So if you can hand me a set of plans to say this is our problem, start from ground zero and try to find the best solution, which is what we did here. But then as we started looking at it and developing it and coming up with different you know, solutions for them, 
we found the one that made the best sense for everybody. You know, not just financially, but also time, safety. It was really an efficient answer to their problem. This is the first job I've worked on in Hensel Phelps for over 20 years. And we're working with Kyle Hoffman, uh, who's the project manager. Amazingly a great guy. Um, he's, he's really open to suggestions on how to improve things on the project and, and potentially save money and time. You know, unfortunately on this, most of the things have gone well. We've hit some harder than expected soil. We've had uh, some obstructions we didn't expect. And we just worked together to find ways through it. Uh, and we did it as a team. And you know, they were all solvable and relatively easy to solve because of the communication.